You used to nibble all the biscuit from the outside and pick away the chocolate. And you're left with this orange jelly just melting on your tongue. What are you do? Oh, I thought that was Schmeichel. If I was Schmeichel, I'd sue you for slander. What was I supposed to do, Fizz? I couldn't let him sleep on the streets. He could sleep on the viaduct, that fella, at rush hour. See what I mean? Must be wonderful. Put a bomb under him. Don't tempt me. I've gone for green for tranquility. I need positivity after the blood. What's he doing here? Look, we're not taking sides. This is a curveball, Fizz. His wife's kicked him out. On account of me? It doesn't matter why. Because you'll not be clapping eyes on him again. Isn't that right, John? Well, um, That's um, the sound John makes when he's agreeing with me. Right, so it is deep breaths all round and off to work we go. <laughs> Did you? Every word. How long you been with Fizz? Three years, give or take. Feels like forever. <sighs> You're in the first flush. Hardly. I mean it. Places to explore, stories still to hear. <laughs> Secrets to uncover. <clears throat> uh, Marmalade. After 20 years of marriage, I know exactly what Margaret's going to order in a restaurant and where she's going to plonk her freezing feet in bed at night and her hands if she's had a glass of rosé. Yeah, well... And what she's going to say and when she's going to say it. She seemed to take you by surprise last night. Exception that proves the rule, son. I, th I thought you had a fairly jolly social life. Oh, I'm allowed out with the husbands of her pals. Well, are they not your pals? My pals were kicked into the long grass one by one. I didn't notice at the time. Uh, Bill was stingy, Doug was snooty, and Smidger was... It called Smidger. Well, there's always friends reunited. Good old directory inquiries. Never too late. <laughs> Maybe. I know I look a bit clapped out, but inside I'm still a lean, mean, rocking machine. Well, then <laughs> get out there and prove it to Margaret and her mates. Make a fresh start today. I wouldn't mind going around the Cape of Good Hope. Mm. Go for it! Truth is, Colin... John. John. Truth is... I've run out of shipmates. And I think I've missed the boat. No! You, buddy, are my only port in a storm. I do everything the magazines tell you. Develop other interests. I have a positive mental attitude. Keep my expectations realistic. Picking Brian! That was realistic. He was scraping the barrel, Julie! Fizz. What? He's 50, he's flabby, he's 50, he's the new 40. And you, Mrs. Stick, were pleasantly plump yourself once. I felt a connection. He is a phony and he's married. Was married. Till last night. The connection was all in your head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was me. I've always believed there was a plan for me. I get a kick in the teeth and I bounce back. Yeah, you trooper! Yeah, but there's only so many kicks a girl can take before... Before what? Before she turns into Mrs. Eileen? Oh, you're nothing like her. I'm lonely. Yeah, you're not lonely. Don't tell me how I feel. You, with your bump in your little married bubble. I'm lonely. And I think Brian's lonely too. That's why we chimed. Julie, I wish you'd trust me on this one. I feel his pain and he feels mine. What is it? We've only got two minutes. Carl's in a right strap. I didn't want to tell you by texting. Oh. It is. We weren't expecting you. What's mine? Brian, Skyving School. Oh, I could passionately leave here in circumstances. Play me cards right, I could spin this out to love too. Brian's been making himself useful. But not behind the counter, obviously. After the business with Lewis. But he has tested all the pens for me, rehung the fixtures board. Tell us. Oh, and polished all the screens. Great, what next? Uh, treat myself to a flutter, I think. Certainly touch lucky when I knocked on your door. When your wife kicked you out. I, I, I've been thinking about that. You can't just dissolve a marriage overnight. Been on the cars for years. Yeah, well, all the same, you need to talk to Margaret. Shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted, because this horse has bolted towards a buxom young blonde of this parish. Julie! I'll be honest with you, Fizz. I'm smitten. You lied to her. Made a fool of her in front of a restaurant full of people. Time's a great healer. One bank on it. And I've got plenty of it. I'll go down on bended knee to make it up to her if I have to. Will you tell him or shall I? I'd be better coming from you. You know the expression bunny boiler? Well, that's Julie's middle name. <laughs> you won't laugh if you knew what we know. She wouldn't say boo to a goose. Huh? Where shall I start? The restraining order? Was that from the guy who didn't answer a text? 
Mark, nice bloke, ended up section. No, no, that was the one who booked a camping trip with his mates instead of a city break with her. on Victoria Street. Apparently, David Platt ran Graham thingy over. Graham from the butchers? Yeah. How do you know? Well, Eileen just told me. Claire dropped the kids over to hers and then went with Ashley to the hospital. By the way... But, but they're not hurt, are they? No. But apparently Graham's in a bad way, though. Um, by That's the way... That's awful! How's David? Um, I don't know. What's happened to Brian? Only I came round before... Well, in fact, I've been round a few times and he wasn't in. Oh! Well, he must have gone home, try and patch things up with his wife. Oh, I see. Right. Well, fine. Well, then. You were right. He obviously wasn't the one. Better off he left now than when little Lottie and Pedro were around. Lottie and Pedro? It's what I would have called them. If we'd been blessed. Oh, don't laugh! Well, they've only had one date and she's already got kids. I'm surprised she hadn't put a deposit down on a house. Anyway, it obviously worked, because he's not here. Yeah, thank goodness for that. <laughs> That's awful about that crash, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Must have fallen asleep. She gone yet? Did you get a <sighs> shot on mine? Yes. I began myself only, I don't step out the door. Thing is, she won't give up, you know. You might be better off getting out of here. Well, yeah, but where? Do you know, I'm sure your wife would take you back there if you grovelled a bit. Don't think so. Anyway, I'm too proud to beg. No, I'm best laying low here till Boiler Bunny cools off. You could sneak some supplies in. I'll give you a list. Just going to see a man about the dog. Might be some time to quote Scott. Oats. Sorry? Nothing. Right, that's it. What are you doing? Phoning his wife. Oh, hello. Is that Margaret? Hiya. Um, I'm Fizz Stape. I'm married to John, friend of Brian's. And I don't know if you know, but Brian's staying with us. Yeah. Yeah, he told us you had. I just wanted to explain. You see, that woman, she's a mate of mine and she's a bit mad, you know. She had this crush on Brian Wright, even though he told her he was married. So he invited her out for a meal, you know, just to let her down gently. But she wouldn't listen. She just flung herself at him. Well, yeah, yeah, I realise it must have looked like that, but it, honestly, honestly it wasn't. He's in bits, the poor thing. He can't sleep, he's in floods of tears. All he wants to do is make it all with you. Well, yeah, 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 I said that. Why don't you ring her, I said. He said, because she's right, I am not worthy of her. That woman means everything to me and I'm not fit to tie her shoelaces. Yeah, yeah, his exact words. Oh, Margaret, he sings your praises all the time. That's why I wondered if you could find it in your heart to forgive him. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. OK, then. OK, bye. Well? She said she needs time to think. You played a blinder. Yeah, well, I learnt from the master, didn't I? the wife. She wants to take me back. That's brilliant. Do you reckon I should play out again? No. No, it's not worth the risk. <clears throat> Hiya, love. Yeah, yeah. I'll just pop my bags and I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> right, coast clear. <laughs> right, well, thanks. I know you probably think it's rude of me just upping and leaving like this. No, 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 not at all, no. Your marriage comes first. I'll tell you what, it does from now on. Once bitten, twice shy. Or better the dog you know than the dog you don't. Right. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, I was terrified he was going to change his mind. So was I. I feel elated, like I just won the lottery. Elated? Yeah, don't you? No, actually. I feel pretty rotten. John, I've just had to lie to me friend. I've lied to a woman I don't even know, all because of you. So don't you dare act like you're enjoying it. No, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not honest. I'm just, um, I'm just relieved, that's all. And you're right, I should never have put you through all that. Mm. But it's over now, and I promise... Don't, don't say anything. Let's just get back to our lives, eh? Pretend none of it ever happened. <laughs> OK. Oh. <laughs> At least we've got our couch back. Mm. No, no, please! I'll get rid of him. I promise he will not set foot over that threshold. It's no good. I've tried to put it all behind me, but I can't. Oh. If you prick me, do I not bleed? If you... Um... Tickle us, do you not laugh? Laugh? I've forgotten what it's like. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody left the on the steps of Underworld with this. Rest in peace. Somebody left a wreath on the steps. A wreath at Underworld? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird or what? After them flowers. What have you done with the wreath? Took it in the bin out back. Tony Gordon, he probably had another woman on the go. Secret woman. She's leaving flowers for him. A memory thing. Pull some scams in your time, but I'll not be off the dead! It's probably just a wrong delivery. No, I hope so. Otherwise, someone's got a very sick sense of humour. He usually leaves a wreath outside a nicker fight trip. You don't think it could have been a harsh idea? Maria, it was a sea. June is right, we should be telling the police. 